Hey guys, today we are here at the top of Mount Haruna. This is the location of the downhill course where Takumi battles all the different people in Initial D, comes out as a winner. And here today, I brought my Forester SEI to do a full in-depth tour. And I'll tell you all the little things I love about this car. I'll show you all the little details. And then afterwards, we're gonna go for a drive down to Toge and I'll tell you what it's like to drive as well. So this is the SG9 Forester STI, which in my opinion, is definitely one of the coolest STI cars that's ever been made because it's not only is it extremely rare, it is also an extremely high performance vehicle. Looking at it, it kind of looks like it's an SUV, but it's more like a crossover because it shares the same platform as the GDB Impreza. In fact, the total width, uh, width and length are just about the same as my previous car, the Bug Eye WX SEI. The difference is this one has a slightly higher roof line, has the bigger wheel wells, and it has an amazingly huge boot. So let me show you how much you can fit inside there. So I love this car because as you guys know, as a YouTuber, as a filmmaker, I need to carry around a lot of stuff. I need to carry around overnight bags, bags with my computers, gear, like this huge thing, which is full of, let me show you real quick, all these cameras, you know, I got my whole setup here. And I love that how I can just throw everything in the back, get to go, and it's right there as soon as I need it. And I can even fold the seats down and put a futon in there and take a nap. So I love how both of these seats will like fold down. Very, very convenient for daily life. But aside from that, it's also a really, really high performer on the toge and on the circuit. This car is actually faster than the BRZ at Scuba. Let me introduce you to a few other interesting things in this car. This is the Sims replica wing, uh, which I had painted. And the really interesting thing about this wing is this light. So this wing didn't actually come with this light. However, uh, another guy on the Forrester uh, Facebook group, we, we formed a friendship and he actually offered to send me his, his light. So it's extremely hard to find this light. But thanks to the uh, wonderful Forrester community, I'm able to complete the look of the Sim style wing. Here we have a Fujitsubo exhaust, and this will really accentuate the nice Subaru Boxer rumble. In fact, I'm gonna turn the car on right now, and I'll rev the engine a little bit so you guys can see uh, or hear what this sounds like. So just a sec. you guys just love that iconic boxer rumble sound and i just love the iconic pink sti badge which really makes these cars stand out i mean like the base of these cars is just it's an it's an economy car right this is an economy suv a very practical car for daily life but the sti badge lets people know the people behind you that this car means business so over here i have brand new potenza S001 tires uh, on CE28 rims. Let's get a little, a little bit closer. So these are these are 8J48 uh, plus 48 offset, uh, 18 inch rims uh, wrapped in 245-45 uh, 18 inch tires. And I had to uh, roll the fenders just a little bit to get these to clear. So here you can see that the uh, before I rolled the fenders last week. It was cutting into the wheel, uh, into the tire, when we were pushing it a little bit hard on the toge at Haruna, or at, uh, at Hakone uh, the previous week. But now that the fenders have been rolled, I don't have any more rubbing, and it's, it's such an amazingly stable and comfortable ride. So right now, uh, we were going through the streets. It's a little bit wet, and so the 
car has been sprayed. It's kind of coated in this like thin layer of mud and, and dirt. And in my opinion, like this is how a Subaru should look. Back in the day, you know, STI was known for making high performance rally cars, which were basically homologated for street use. This car is, it should be dirty and it should be blue. This iconic world rally blue is the perfect color for Subaru. Coming around the front here, I'll show you guys a, little, a few other details. So this is a carbon fiber hood scoop. It's made by a company called Kakume. And the bolt pattern is actually the same bolt pattern as the Bug Eye WRX STI. However, the shape of it is the shape and style of the hood scoop from the, the Blob Eye WRX STI. And I feel the large hood scoop, which Captain Bradford calls the Death Star scoop, really, really makes the really aggressive front uh, fascia of the, of the car really pulls it together. Uh, and I think, you know, the huge scoop along with the STI OEM lip just kind of really pulls the whole look together. So why don't we take a peek at the interior and I'll show you guys a few of my favorite things about the inside of this car. This right here is a brand new steering wheel that I just installed yesterday and this is the damn carbon fiber uh, flat bottom steering wheel. It's really really thick and chunky and just feels amazing in the hands. So this is probably my favorite mod. I love how beautiful this carbon fiber weave looks. It has a real sense of Japanese craftsmanship and it feels like an OEM part which is my favorite aspect of this, this wheel. Uh, this uh, airbag uh, part was taken directly from my stock wheel and just transposed onto this damn wheel and it looks great, it just looks completely stock. Here we have the Econ 2 Cusco uh, adjustable dampening uh, controller and let me show you what that'll do. So let me turn the car on and here you can see that you can actually set presets for different dampening settings for the front and for the rear. So can you get a little bit lower, Chris, so you can see that at a nicer angle? So for example, if I press this, it'll change to nine at the front and 12 at the rear. A little bit of a softer bias towards the rear. I'll set it to one and three because we're gonna be going downhill. We're actually going to be uh, heading down the toge uh, with that uh, up here, the uh, GTR over here. So uh, kind of going for a, a light drive down the toge uh, against the GTR. And so I'm gonna set it to the more stiff setting so we can have a little bit more fun with the car. Uh, looking inside here, I have an Android system. This is really cool because it's set up uh, with torque. So here I'm able to run several gauges and I'm able to calculate boost, I'm able to show RPM, things like the, uh, the intake temperature, uh, airflow ratio, and it's just really cool to see those 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 gauges going up and down and what's really cool is I can switch back and forth between this and all these different apps you know you're able to watch uh, YouTube use Google Maps watch Netflix and it's just an extremely useful intuitive system that makes the car feel a lot more modern than it actually is and little details like the little trees which is in cherry blossom honey I really like how you know cherry blossoms are what inspired the color of Subaru STI in the first place. This is a, if you can see over here, this is a safe driving charm, which we actually got from here at Mount Harana. And I feel like having this in the car will uh, help me, keep me safe. Another thing I really like about the Forester STI is how many places it has for storage. It has like this nice little netted cubby thing. So you can fit things that are larger size than if it was just one like a little plastic thing. And uh, Chris, can you come around over here to the other side? Actually, this is perfect. I took a drink from this uh, Tasty Green Dakara and 
one of my favorite parts about this car is how many oops, how many cup holders it has. So let's see. We have one here. Close this. Got two more here, so that's three, four, five. And then here, I just installed this, but this is a really nice armrest with a sliding adjustable armrest thing. And here, it's got even more cup holders. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wait, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, over here, actually, if you open the back door, seven, eight, bringing the grand total to an astounding eight cup holders. So, I judge the value of cars primarily based on how many cup holders it has. So just based on that alone, we are at a 10 out of 10 already. Possibly the only annoying thing about the Forester STI is that the this center dash, this center console, is actually black. The stock one is black. I've replaced it with this uh, silver trim from the Forester Crossports. And the reason is because the stock SG9 Forester STI console trim is actually this really weird black uh, rubbery finish that in the hot Japanese sun will peel off or leave fingerprints. Literally, you can press it like that and it'll leave a fingerprint, which sucks. So I've completely replaced it. And in my opinion, it looks really good because it matches all the other little silver trim bits like this and this. Everything just kind of ties it together. Over there, you can check out my little uh, Zergu STI bear. <clears throat> With the uh, JDM STI water. And you know, this car is just full of little STI badges everywhere. The more STI badges your car has, the better car it is overall, just because they definitely increase the performance of the vehicle significantly. Let's take a look at the back seats. So over back here is quite convenient as well because we have a nice little armrest section here. And what I really like is not only does this seat fold down like this, but it will also, it'll also slide out like this. See? And it'll bring this part out a little bit to give you a little bit more back support, lumbar support and you'll have like a really nice, comfortable seating position. And the additional headroom, like all the headroom in the car, makes for a really nice, comfortable ride. So sliding this back over here. So you can do the same thing on this side as well. The other touches I've added to the car are the rear strut bar and Rear sway bars underneath there. You can see the rear sway bar, 22 millimeter rear sway bar. And all of these are made by Cusco. Suspension as well, which I don't think I've talked about, is actually made by Cusco as well. And those are the Cusco Street Zero A coilovers, which are great. They have a great ride for Japanese roads, very comfortable, but when you're on a toge, you're able to push it quite hard. And it really, really is a comfortable ride while being really sporty. In completely stock form, with the stock suspensions, without the strut bars, without the sway bars. There was a little bit of uh, roll, which was a little bit too much. But after uh, putting in the power bar, the uh, rear strut bar, the rear sway bars, the uh, coilovers, and these really nice sticky tires, wide sticky tires, this car handles like it's on rails. To be honest, it feels even better than my previous car, the Bagai WRX STI, which had the EJ207 engine. This has the EJ255, which is the 2.5 liter engine, so it's really torquey, and it's really easy to get that power uh, at the low end of the RPM range. Unlike the, the EJ207 and the Bugeye, which is a great engine, don't get me wrong, but you had to ring it near to the red line to really get that power out. With this car, the power is available on tap uh, 
pretty much as soon as you floor it. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my in-depth look, full walk around of the Forester SCI. I absolutely love this car and it's completely lived up to my expectations. And uh, so yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna take it for a drive down the Kobe and I'll give you my impressions about what it's like to actually drive this thing in the next video. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this full in-depth look. There's a lot to talk about with this car. So let's finish this off here. This went way longer than I expected, but that just goes to show how much I love this car and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.